Hello and welcome to another update video about Metis. Um, it's one of the coins that we have had on the radar for uh, a while now. Yeah. Um, I think I've been covering it since it made its high here and we've talked about this wave 2 correction which is coming up which ideally was not supposed to drop below 21.84 below the 78.6% FIP level. It looked like it could drop to 18 19 dollars in the very worst case, luckily it didn't. Yeah, basically made a double bottom here and is now starting in a potential, yeah, first impulse to the upside after that, uh, after the completion of this correction. So ideally it doesn't go below the previous low anymore and it will now start rising and eventually break the $50 level and go higher. Yeah, so this is the next candidate in my opinion that could, could, very important, could, not will, but could, um, be the next quant, yeah? um, basically being in a breakout pattern. Yeah, um, Like for example, Aave is also in a breakout pattern, Ethereum, if these will eventually work out, I, I have no idea, but it is quite likely. It's quite likely and that's it. That's what it's about eventually. Um, I did buy Aave, I didn't buy Metis. Um, I might buy the Wave 2 when it happens, Yeah, but for now uh, I'm watching this and um, target for me is next the 37 dollar level roughly yeah? uh, okay might not go up that much but it's looking interesting so obviously we said that this here could have been a wave one to the upside here a wave two to the downside we had a nice bullish divergence here on the chart and we're now moving up we at the moment only have three waves up so it could still fail here yeah we don't have confirmation yet of a fifth wave so we only have three waves so it could easily be an abc um, but it's at the moment looking promising. You know, we reached in this third wave exactly what we want to reach in the third wave. The 1.618 extension at $30.50 perfectly again. Yeah, and now the wave four retracement, it is a bit deep. It's it's a touch too deep, but well, it's actually fine, but it must not drop any lower. Yeah, so we've now reached the 50% Fibonacci retracement level again perfectly. You can see how these markets on these prices react so well to these FIP levels. So in a wave four, a drop to the 50% FIP level of wave three is fine, but it shouldn't go any lower. So it is, it has been holding the 2750 level and ideally it doesn't drop any lower. Now, strictly speaking, it could still come down and as long as it holds the $26 level, the wave one high, it's fine. But in reality, a drop below the 50% FIP level is unlikely for a wave four. So I'm observing this. I would then expect another wave five up if this level holds. If it doesn't, it increases massively the risk that this pattern is going to fail. Okay, so we are now deep in support, I can tell you that. And um, what should now happen in the fifth wave? So let's see, let's say we do a fifth wave here, then it should reach, okay, so based on this, it could reach the 34, $35 level here in the fifth wave. Yeah? Um, that's the textbook target, the 2.618 extension. But in reality, anything that goes above the wave three will be fine. Yeah, maybe we are already topping at whatever, 32, 3350. Um, or maybe at this, I think this is a suitable level here, that resistance level, which is around 32, 33 So at the moment, this is looking good. Yeah, as long as we're holding that 2750 level and we can focus on higher. The roadmap, looks like this, that this here would be a wave one to the upside. Then there will be a wave two to the downside. In this wave two, what we need to hold is then the 78.6% FIP level to give us more likelihood to move up in a wave three. And then it will cascade higher, yeah. And, and that is what I'm looking at here as a potential breakout pattern that we now have a chance to push higher. Yeah, and this is my update about Metis. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.